In today's video, we're going to install Forcepoint email security on the Forcepoint manager. One important thing to note is before installing email security on the manager, you have to have an email security appliance stood up in your environment. You can see in one of the videos in this 8.4 installation series, I install the email security virtual appliance. Again, you have to install an email security appliance within your environment before installing uh, email security on the manager. All right, with that said, once again, preparation of the manager is an important. Preparation of the servers that any force point solution is being installed on is very important. Um, please uh, check out the force point uh, management framework installation that uh, I posted in a, a previous video um, to get information on how to prepare your Forcepoint server for the installation of any Forcepoint sl security solutions. All right, with that said, let's go ahead and start this installation. So I'm just going to go to my program files list. After I had installed Forcepoint DLP, I chose to keep the installation files. It's always a good option. That way you don't have to extract the installer every time you want to re-initialize uh, the installer to install another component. So because I did that, I can simply go ahead and right-click and do a run as administrator. You always want to run as administrator when you install any Forcepoint solution. And you always want to log into the manager using the service account that you've chosen to use for everything and all things Forcepoint. Those are very key when installing any Forcepoint solution. Alright, so you can see I've got web and DLP installed. Um, even if I didn't, you would still follow the same steps for email security. So we'll just go ahead and click install here. And just once again, it's always a good idea to have some kind of file prepared that has all the settings that you're going to be using uh, for your email security installation. If you look through the Forcepoint email security installation guide, it will go over all of the steps and by um, going through that guide before you actually attempt the installation, you can kind of create an outline of the type of information that you'll need. Things like the SQL server account that you're going to use, the Active Directory server that you are the account for your Active Directory access that you, you'll use, um, host name for the email security appliance, um, different protected domains that you're going to need to enter, trusted IP addresses, uh, the SMTP your, or your mail server, exchange server that you're going to be using, things like that. All right, so we'll go ahead and hit next. Choose Forcepoint Email Security. Please note that in version 8.4, Forcepoint DLP Cloud Email, which is the email gateway for Office 365, is not supported. It's still in the installer, but again, please note that if you choose to install it, it will not install properly. So we'll go ahead and click Next. And Next, leave the defaults. Again, because you entered some of this information in the Forcepoint Management Infrastructure installation, it's stored in the, uh, in the installer, so the installer picks up all the settings right off the bat. We'll just leave everything as is for SQL Server Access, because it is correct. Oh, except I forgot to enter. All right. And again, this is the service account for all things Forcepoint. And this is the correct path. I've already verified that in previous steps. I'll go ahead and hit next. And the IP address of the appliance to be managed by Forcepoint Email Security. This is the appliance that you should have already uh, set up and configured in your environment before installing email security on the manager. So I do have that IP address. Okay. Oh, 
I did not restart the email service, so let me go ahead and do that. Okay, I've logged into the email appliance and went into config mode and ran the uh, restart email command. So now let's go ahead and try to connect again. There we go, looks like it connected fine that time around. And I'm just going to hit next, accepting all the defaults. Looks good, and install. All right, looks like the installation completed, and I just need to hit done, and it'll finalize here on the screen. Looks like we're good to go. Just hit close here, and exit. And I want to uh, keep my installation files and exit the installer, and that's it. Um, please check out my other videos that will be explaining how to actually do a uh, initial configuration with uh, Forcepoint email security. Thanks again.